up. Right. What? That's the. <laughs> <laughs> this is Lisa with Global Fight talking to have my writer staff, Maddox. What's up? Hey, how y'all doing? And today we have a very special guest, Shauna Dobson. Danger, Shauna Dobson. What's up, guys? <laughs> good, to, good to kick it with you guys again. It's been a minute. It's been a good minute, but man, what better time? This is just a good time right now for you because you're on fire right now. Like you had a a very good fight this what couple weeks ago and you were a yeah. huge underdog and um, you were right underneath uh holly holmes what you were like a 850 800 you were something around there and yeah. um but i'm gonna tell you like this you moving to colorado was probably the best thing that probably ever happened to you because i've seen a huge difference in your fight game and also in your cardio i mean you're in colorado so <laughs> the elevation yeah. there is great so talk us through this fight camp i mean i know that you were an underdog did that bother you uh well first of all i gotta say lisa that means a lot coming from you for the, just a little backstory for those of y'all that don't know lisa lisa taught me how to hit my first angle man when i was just a <laughs> A young, a young pup, a young, young underdog. So when you're you know, getting, when you're getting ready to learn, you were just learning yeah, at that time. Just learned it, just learned it. So you know, Lisa's Lisa's influence has always meant a lot to me. So you know, just just uh, just a little backstory for y'all that are listening. Um, but this this fight, um, you know, we knew coming in that she was she had a lot of hype behind her. We knew coming in that you know she was very confident and uh, that she was probably underestimating me along with a lot of other people. You know that saw that matchup. And, um, you know, uh, for me, it was just, you know, for those, for those people who have been following my career from the beginning, they knew like, you know, there, there was some respect that was due because I've been, I fought, you know, a lot of tough fights. I fought a lot of tough opponents, former champions. So, you know, for them to come out and say like that she was finna just run right through me, that was kind of crazy, but, you know, we just, we, my coach has been doing a lot of mental preparation uh, with me. To, uh, team Elevation has been a great blessing for me um, to be a part of. You know, I know they're grateful to have me, but I, one thing I don't think they realize is how much they've changed and impacted my life um, and how grateful I am for them. So, you know, the mental preparation was major coming into this fight and, and coming into every fight. You know, it's a big part that I've lacked in, in other uh you know, camps that, you know, it's going to be, that is, it's, it's, it's very important and it's always going to be a part of our preparation for our fights. I know you going into this fight, um, this girl, she, she, she's, she's big time. I, I want to say big time. She, she's up and coming and she, she trains with a very good camp. And so when I saw her across from you and she was pumped, like she was mm -hmm. very pumped and, and yeah. um, the, the key to this fight for you, I thought, was that you took your time. And um, it's like, I don't know if that was the game plan to like let her come out strong because that's what you, that's what she does. She comes out strong, but mm -hmm. you just kind of like, you took your time and you found the right time to, to change the dynamic of the fight. And one thing that I do know about you, Shauna, that mm -hmm. you got that mm -hmm. power. Like we've seen, we've sparred before, but we haven't gone a yeah. hundred percent. But even yeah, the type yeah. of sparring that you and I have done in the past, you got that power. <laughs> you got that night night yeah. if, if it could happen. But what were you thinking at that time when you're you're standing right across from her in the cage and she's hype, like she's extremely hype? What's going through your mind? And um, yeah, kind of. That's what you said. Like, that's what we prepared. We, we knew that she was going to come out hot. Um, and it was just about keeping my eyes open, keeping them up, seeing the shots coming, blocking them, and just not letting them phase me, you know? It was, it was my coach told me, like, you know, anything that she come out of us with, we're going to be right there in her face. And we're going to pick those shots that, that mean something. So the point was, like, you know, let her come with whatever she got, but when – but she gonna have to take what I got. And when I hit her, it was, you know, let, let it mean something, let it, let it send a message to her. So, you know, I was standing across from her, I saw her hype. Uh, we did a lot of visualization. So it's kind of like I was prepared. I already saw this happening. I already saw 
her standing across from me, hype, you know, excited in the, in, you know, in the camera and stuff. And, you know, that, that all, that's, that's good. That's good for her. You know what I mean? Like everybody should have their moment out there in the cage and do what they need to do. But, you know, it was kind of just like, you know, I was, I was like a dog ready to get let off the leash. That's, that's the kind of mentality that we had. Like, yeah. man, wait, wait till I get my hands on her, you know, wait till, wait till we get to show what we've been working on. So that's, that's all that was going through my mind, you know, when she was standing across. You talk about training with Elevation down there in Colorado, what they've done for your game. Um, what did they tell you after the first round to keep your mind uh, settled and to be able to turn yeah. the fight around in the second round? Man, they kind of just said, like, you know, we, we already knew that this was coming. This was how it was going to go. Um, you know, good job on the submission attempts. Uh, you know, let's just – let's let's take it to her. Let's – you know, she's already, she's already felt your power. She knows what's going on. Just keep sticking her with that. And, and that was pretty much it. You know, use the – we're fighting – we're fighting open stance. It's better to double up the right side. So my coach said double up the right side. I threw the cross with the right head kick, and that opened up – what I needed to do to get the finish. How much of the game plan was was grappling? Did, were you guys definitely saying before the fight that I need to we need to take this girl down because of how she fights, how she comes forward, or which, was that just a uh, something that happened? Which was a huge change I saw in your game plan. Yeah, you, you, you're a striker, and I was yeah. like, "What? Shauna's going for a submission, Tim? She is taking her down." It, I was very surprised, but that's what happens when you're a mixed martial artist. You, involve, yeah. you, you evolve and, and, and you become a mixed martial artist, not just a striker. So like Sav said, I mean, like you were taking her down, you were going for submission attempts and I was just like watching the fight. I was like, okay, Shauna, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, uh, that, you're right, Lisa, that hasn't always been something that people have, have you know, expected from me, but I've been out here training with a lot of great grapplers, um, uh, Mallory Martin, uh, Montella, Montana De La Rosa and a lot of jiu-jitsu people that people don't really know about that are over here on the team that are killers that you know it's just straight up so you know training offense and defensive jiu-jitsu with them has really uh, helped my game my my jiu-jitsu coach Valor over at uh, Team Elevation he's amazing um, he gets me uh, he gets my my growth you know my growth mm -hmm. uh, uh, pace with with the groundwork and you know it was kind of just when we saw that, you know, those grappling exchanges, I can really attribute it to this, the elevation system. Like we don't train like jujitsu and then we train striking or, you know what I'm saying? Like it's everything is together. Like our wrestling flows into our jujitsu, our jujitsu flows into our striking and, and all, they're all together. So it's like um, those, those decisions kind of felt fluid. It was like, okay, I see it, I feel it here. We're striking in between, so you know I really got to attribute it to the system. Um, uh, Cody over at Team Elevation, our our head jujitsu coach, he's amazing, and and it's everything is MMA, everything is MMA based, you know. So I think that's what really helps. So you know you 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 were here in Texas. That's how you and I met. So you were here in mm -hmm. Texas. You moved back to the East Coast or whatever, and then now you're in Colorado. What made you? make that change moving to Colorado um you know I I I noticed that my career wasn't going in the place that that you know obviously it wasn't going the place that I needed, needed to go and I'm not just talking about wins or losses you know what I mean like as a fighter um you know you know yourself you know what you need and you know no disrespect to coaches that I've had in the in previously the the, the team that I tra trained with previously no disrespect I learned a great amount from that team, from those coaches. But, you know, sometimes it's just even even if it's great coaching, sometimes it's just not a good fit. It's not for you. Um, and, uh, you know, just just like fundamentally, technique wise, uh, you know, types of, you know, everything. Um, and, you know, we had a we had an opportunity where my girlfriend, her brother lives out here in Colorado, and he was pretty much like, y'all can stay with us. Shauna, you can focus on your training. You can get get with a good a team. And um, I met, I had met uh, Corey Sanhagen out in, out in California uh, at the DC Steep A2 card. And he was like, anytime, you know, you're out in Colorado, come full with us. 
And, you know, I took him up on that. I went to go train and I immediately connected. I connected really well with Sean Madden, my head coach, with Christian Allen, one of them, like a world-renowned striking coach in the game. Uh, you saw him do his thing last night in the corner of Alistair Overeem. So, you know, it's just, it's just great coaching, great teammates, a great vibe, great system. You know what I mean? And like you said, the altitude is, you know, I go out to train anywhere I don't get, to, or I go out to, you know, anywhere else, but here I don't get tired. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's a great, it's a great attribute to be out here. You know, you, you, you went into the UFC right after the ultimate fighter and, you know, you won your first fight right after that. And then you, you know, you, you lost the, the next two or three and, and it, it seemed like you, you, you needed this, this win. You, it, it, did you feel like I had to win? Or if not, it could have been like it was over for you type thing. And you wanted to prove, because I know in your last fight, you were with Team Elevation, but it was not, it wasn't a long camp for you. And so right. this one was a full camp and you wanted to show, did you feel like I need to show what I've been doing and I need a win to stay where I'm at, to let people know, you know, I'm, I'm evolving and I'm, I'm, a, I'm better. Yeah, I think that, um, you know, I think there was a little bit of that. I think it was a, that's a fair assessment to make. Um, you know, I kind of just, I kind of just, uh, succumb to the, to the odds and the outcome. And I just trust, I trust in my ability. I trust in my coaches and I trust in my fate. You know what I mean? I'm going to end up where I'm supposed to end up. So if, if for some reason I, I didn't lose my last fight, then, you know, I just feel it wasn't because I wasn't supposed to, I, I was meant for something else. My future had a different destination. Um, but I feel like even the losses that I took before that, you know, they were for a reason. They put me, they ma they helped me make the decision to move to Colorado, to yeah. train with Team Elevation, and to get me where I got, you know, August 22nd, where I you was able to essentially make history. So, you know, even bad things, I feel like happen for a reason. I feel like fate has led me to where I'm at, and uh, it'll always lead me to where I'm, where I'm going. Right, right. No, I agree. So... 125, it's a stack card. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Man, yeah. It's, a, it's a stack card. So what's next right after this fight? I mean, do you, do you talk to Dana or Sean Shelby or Mick and, and say, hey, what fight do you want next? Or do you just wait for that call? 125 division, yes. It's stacked and it's growing all the time. Um, you know, we got girls moving in from other weight classes, other promotions, the contender series. I heard they might be bringing the ultimate fighter back. I don't know if they're going to do another 125, but you know, there's a lot, there's a lot of people coming in. What's next for me? I just, I, you know, I, I trust my coaches, especially now more than ever, whatever they think is best, you know, our next, our next bout, whatever they think is best. Um, um, I'm riding with it. You know, I trust them. Um, you know, we're just gonna, we're just gonna keep the momentum going. I think, you know what I mean? Like we, we, uh, we did, we showed what we, our growth. We still even, I still got even more to show than that. You know, everyone was saying it was a great performance and I was like, damn, like I didn't, I mean, yeah, I guess, but I didn't even get to show everything that I got. You know what I mean? I'm very critical of myself. Uh, so, you know, I'm just ready. I'm ready to, to show, show the full arsenal and show and show the crispiness and and you know and, and the aggression and everything that we've been working on um you know i'm not i'm not really i'm just kind of waiting on you know them to call me um i just got my wisdom teeth out so all four <laughs> of them out so i'm kind of i'm kind of sat sat down for a little bit no you're you're, up. you're 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 good i mean right now um i don't i'm not too sure if you're i think you're ranked number 25 i'm, I'm not too sure right now but you're somewhere yeah. around there I mean, you've got a lot of great fighters that, that, that is in front of you. And um, yeah. there's some killers. The 125 women's division are some killers. And, and yeah. I am excited to see where, where this leads you, to be honest, because I remember when I first met you many years ago, you were just starting out. It was me, you, Anita Rodriguez. Um, yeah. 
and the gang. Yeah, and um, <laughs> and and to see you come from XKO <laughs> to UFC, yeah. that's crazy. That that that's mad crazy, and, I, and I'm so proud of you. Um, so, are you still sticking with your your, your stick moving angles? <laughs> stick moving angles, just like you showed me, Lisa. Just like you showed me. That you show right, yeah, man. It's I uh. I always think back, I always think back to, you know, it's, it's crazy. Cause I feel like everything happened very fast and like it happened faster than, than me. You know, I'm just, I'm still, I'm just a humble learner, you know, fighter from that started in Texas. That's, that's how I see myself. You know? Yeah. yeah. So, you know, like I said, you know, I, I just wanted, Sav and I wanted to interview you right after your fight. I've been trying to interview you like for the <laughs> longest and, and I know you stay, you stay busy, but I, I think Colorado yeah. is a good home for you. And um, man, you've, you've evolved so much. And um, I remember watching um, your fight that night and I saw a comment, I saw somebody post something and I was just like, ooh, I think I'm gonna be petty and post something. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, but I did it was someone that was yeah. working against your corner but uh -huh. man yeah I, I was just like you know what I said I, I hope Shauna wins oh I hope <laughs> she wins I mean but you you shown tremendous um heart that that heart and you also grew as a fighter like you could yeah. tell when somebody matures in the fight game because when someone like that comes out yeah. all crazy you sometimes will panic and then you yeah. would want to fight their fight, but you stay right. calm, calm. Yeah. What did you do before that fight? Did you like, um, 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 um. no, I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you woo saw before the fight? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so pretty much it was like just preparing for that pace. You know, I had my, like my sparring partners. I had even my coaches come at me with a lot of volume, a fast pace, and it was like, okay, deal with that. You know, whether that, uh, what, what do we react to that? What are you gonna do? And, you know, I think the best thing, uh, the best thing that fighters can do is just be prepared and, and, and practice, practice how you're gonna fight. You know what I mean? Like we, I've, Elevation has been the first team that I've been to that we spar with small gloves. Um, you know, we spar, we spar, we get it in pretty hard. You know, we take care of each other, but at the same time, you know, a lot, I don't care how many times you, how many years you've been fighting when you get in there and you feel that first like sting with them four ounce gloves and you ain't felt that since your last fight, you know what I mean? That's like, oh damn. So the fact that we, we give it to each other all the time, every, uh, every week, um, and, and we make sure that we bring in training partners that are going to give us the best looks to match our opponents. I feel like that's, that's crucial. Yeah. That's, that's something I wanted to ask you about as well. I see you rocking the Curtis Blade shirt. I love it, by the way. You know, you've got uh, <laughs> yes, Bam. you got uh, mm -hmm. Alistair Overeem, you've got Montana, you got you. Where do you rank uh, elevation in the world uh, as, in, as terms of gems, the quality of them? Well, oh, she man. wants to she, she want, she wants to rank it number one. That's where she trains man. at. We, we better, we of better course. win. Listen, gym of the year, gym of the year. Y'all go out there. You know, you know who it is. The, the it's we spoken for ourselves. Gym of the year. If you haven't voted yet, you need to go out there and vote. Cause, you know, I mean, I I think it goes without saying. Our coaches, we have, we have so many coaches that fighters can choose from that they vibe with. Um, and, uh, you know, all the coaches connect, all the coaches, you know, they're on the same page. They align the system. This gym is, they got it all out here. So, you know, I got great training partners. I get, I get looks from, you know, amateurs that, that would touch up some of these pros out here. I get looks for, I get the spar with Rose Namiengis and Raquel Pennington and, all kinds of girls. So yeah, elevation is yeah. We got the business out here for sure. We're gonna we're gonna switch up the subject right quick before we wrap things up. Um, big talk right now is Mike Ty Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones. Who you got? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> man. So, what quick story? Like not a lot of people know. 
my at my tough the tough finale my first fight in the ufc my this gonna be a long connection okay my sisters i mean sorry my girl's sister's girlfriend ran into roy jones jr at the airport and he gave out a little video a little shout out video i remember like, hey, that Remember that? Yes, I remember, remember that? that. You posted it. I watched that. I watched that every fight before every fight. So that was pretty cool. But Mike Tyson, y'all seen them put them video training footage? That man looks scary. Look, that I, looks scary. I'm gonna give you my non-expert opinion. Okay. All right, all right. <laughs> non-expert. Non-expert. It, is, it, 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 it is, is a non-expert opinion, for real. So Mike Tyson hasn't fought since 2006. That's 14 yeah, years, yeah. okay? Yeah, Roy, you're right. Roy, Roy Jones hasn't fought since 2018. And yeah, he did the exhibition match. That, right. That, I remember that. Yes, but Roy seems to be fighting every year. He fought in 17, 16, 15, and 14. So Roy exactly. has been, he's been active. Mike Tyson, yep. he hasn't been active. He just happened to, you know, stop smoking weed, got serious mm -hmm. with his weight, and then he got back in. And and, and yeah. Mike Tyson didn't want nothing to do with, with fighting anymore. So yeah. what people still have in their mind is uh, that thin Mike Tyson. Yeah, the yeah. Rough, the rough, in his prime and yes you're right you're right he, he, he looks he looks he looks good on the mitts he looks fast he's still scary as it can be but how is he gonna how's how does that gonna look against someone who's been active like roy jones right the training after, videos look real real good but after 14 you, years you, right yeah. you don't have anybody right. you back though right right and i just read somewhere that mike tyson said that he had to stay in the bed for a week after he did that train the training videos <laughs> but you, you see what I'm saying, Sha Shana, Sha That's not you, a good look. Shauna, you know, as fighters, if yeah. you don't, if you don't train for a month, <laughs> oh yeah, and then you go oh, yeah. spar, you go spar, your rhythm, your timing You're is out off. Of here. You out yeah. of here. So imagine 14 yeah. years. Come on, God, imagine dog, four, You're right. 14. So, right. so let so let me tell you this. If I was Roy Jones fighting someone like Mike Tyson. We're gonna. We're, I think we're gonna catch a glimpse of Mike Tyson in the beginning rounds. You know, the, yeah. the pick and boost style. And, uh -huh. But he might get tired. This is an eight round fight. Okay. Yeah. So it's, right. it's, a, it's an eight round fight. So if I was Roy, I'll do what he do best and dance, move, let Tyson get tired because it's been fourteen years, and then pop, yep. pop, pop, start pop shotting him. That's just You're my right. non, just my non expert opinion. <laughs> that's a, that sounds like an expert opinion to me. <laughs> No, but that was because that made me think right there. <laughs> but I'm just saying because people still have that visual of Mike Tyson back then, and they still see that visual because Mike Tyson still got that. Ooh, I hope Bro Jones is ready, and he looks yeah. mean. He looks mean. Everybody looks yeah. good on the mitts. Everybody. Yes, does. you show right. You show. Right. We're back. Hey. We're on, uh, on our shit. Now hold on. She came back like Lena. <laughs> 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 like she's uh, been, she been to do a GQ picture photo shoot. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. they, uh, you already know. <laughs> like, right now you uh focusing on your current UFC contract and uh, you're trying to get back higher in the rankings or whatever. But in a hypothetical situation, if your contract was over and you got a call from Bare Knuckle FC, are you answering that call? <laughs> you, you got on the Bare Knuckles? <laughs> yeah, oh, he, Bare Knuckles? I thought you said something yeah. else. <laughs> I thought you said something else. I, was about to, I thought you said these nuts, FC. <laughs> 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 I was like, I was like, I know you're not trying to get me. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'll, I'll tell a quick <laughs> these jokes. I know. I know. <laughs> That's what I said. I said, damn, this is global fight talk. I am talking global fight talk. <laughs> All right, so uh, bare knuckle man, they hit me up a couple times, uh, trying to see if I was still under contract. Man, I can't. I don't know. Like, hey, Paige Van, Paige Van Zandt went over there. She did, but she went over there with some bags. Oh okay? yeah, yeah, she, yeah. She, she got some fucking bags. But at the same time, um, man, you're you're almost guaranteed to break your hands, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, your you're almost guaranteed, or your face, like that's a know, street fight. Had, that's a street fight. That's, that's a, a straight fight. up street fight. I got to think about 
not, a, not only longevity in the sport, but longevity, like just, you know, we're already putting years of damage on our, our lives. You know what I mean? Every time we cut weight, we're, we're, we're damaging our bodies. I mean, um, we're getting, we're accruing all these injuries, you know, brain damage, stuff like that. Not even just in fights, but in training, you know, how much we train and we spar and this is not, I'm not trying to, man, I respect it. It's fun to watch. I think it's cool. I respect the fighters that get in there and do it, but I just can't, like, I can't do that to, I can't do that to my face. To I, my I, face. I, I, yeah. I, 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 I couldn't do it either. They hit what me about up. you? I was about to say, Lisa. Nah, they hit, they hit me up right. about, back in 2016. <laughs> he said nah. And, yes, nah. They, they hit me back. They hit me up back in 2016, and I think it was to mm -hmm. fight Beck Rollins, or, or whatever. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 and and um, I was like, nah, I, I'm good. I'm I'm good. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm good. Doing that, I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. Right, exactly. exactly. So, <laughs> you understand. You yeah, understand, yeah. Lisa. Like, I, like, no. like, look, I don't need the money that bad. Like, for real. Right. Uh, no. I, yeah. not, gonna, and and not, that, not that anybody who fights on bare knuckles need it, but I'm, I'm yeah. not that crazy. I'm not that crazy. Yeah, I don't know how they, like, I got some, I got some, uh, Christine, Christina, uh, what's her last name? Ferrer or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, Fier yeah. yeah. She's dope. Like we we've talked and stuff. We've 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 met at the tough tryouts. She's cool. She's cool. We vibe, but she does it, and I'm like, man, like I want to ask her, like, bro, how do you, how do you do it? Johnny Bedford too. Johnny Bedford's looking hey, good, he, man. Hey, man, he found a home in, in bare knuckles. Dang, so he, he, he's doing Johnny. pretty good. He's doing. Showing sure up, Johnny's yeah. looking yep. dope. Mm -hmm. I remember going in training with Johnny over at. Uh, uh, what's it called? F three. Uh, F three, man, and and yeah, he's looking good over there. But man, I like yeah, I can't do it. yeah, like, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, it's yeah, cool. Uh, it's exactly. Cool. It's cool to watch. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> one know? punch. I mean, the one punch, and you're like out. You're like, yeah, hold up. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Ain't no mouthpiece in the world that's going. <laughs> you know Get my saying? jaw right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, another one real quick, Simon, you spoke about weight cutting. I just did an article on weight cutting and, and what it uh, does to fighters in the sport. Uh, um, do you know about how 1FC changed the weight cutting culture to where they test your hydration and it um, basically prohibits uh, a large amount of weight cutting? What do you think about that? And, and do you think other uh, organizations should adopt the same thing? Um, yeah, I heard something about that. I have mixed, I have mixed feelings about it because... Like on one side, like when I fought Sabina Mazzo, um, she came in the cage like 12 pounds heavier than me on fight day. So, mm -hmm. you know, I was just like, damn, like, girl, you do not need to be in this weight class, if, <laughs> you know what I mean? If that's the case, you know what I mean? So I think there should be some kind of, you know, accountability held, but at the same time too, it's like, you know, it's at the discretion of the fighter. You know what I mean? If you want to cut that much weight and deplete yourself that much, then that's on you. But um, yeah, I think it's it's tough. That's like that's like a rocky one where it's like you could be on both <laughs> sides of the coin. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Well, you know what, Shauna? Before we wrap things up, I just greatly appreciate you taking the time after like 50 times trying to get you on here. <laughs> Shut yeah. up, Lisa. <laughs> you know I had to throw that in. Slow. <laughs> a little slow. No, yeah, that's true. This I is mean, a little. It's like little. I'm mm. glad I got the talk. I'm glad I got to talk with y'all. I'm tired of like creeping on y'all Instagram and laughing at your jokes and stuff. And uh, oh, you know, you, you know me. I'm gonna joke. I'm gonna oh, joke. Oh yeah, all the that's, time. I'd be stealing. I'd be stealing all your material, girl. I'll steal <laughs> it and repost it. I'll steal it and share it on my on my Snapchat. I straight up steal it. It's all but, good. It's all good. But before we man. before we wrap things up, um, have you talked to um D? Man, I have not talked to I talked to D a little bit after my fight. I miss okay. D. Okay, you always, know what? You know I what? always have love for D. <laughs> what? She tried to get you again. I'm not about to play. <laughs> I try to get you, but you, but you know, you know exactly. I talked to you back. <laughs> no, no, I said I was trying to, I was trying Who's to get you. D who? 
<laughs> do you? <laughs> He's not. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm not gonna play with you. See? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but anyway, Man. anyway, this was a fun interview. It was. Hell I, yeah. I, I'm glad we caught up, and you know, sometimes we like to be serious and be like all proper. But I know you personally, so we don't have yeah. to be like. So, Shauna, how was training camp? Right. Yeah. No, okay. man. Yeah, yeah. No, we we family. We in here kicking. But hey, you know what? Thank you so much. You guys stay tuned. Um, everybody who's watching it, make sure that you do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram, on Facebook, Twitter. Man, I'm not a Twitter person, but we need to get on it. But follow us. We're all over social media at Globify Talk. Globify Talk. And also, make sure you check out our website, GlobifyTalk.com. Anything you want? Any last words? Man. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a these nuts joke to get y'all with, but I can't. I'm not that quick. I'm not as quick as you. I'm gonna get I'm you a, next time we talk. I'm gonna have them lined up for you. I'm gonna catch girl, them like traps. Girl, I got so many. I, I can get you right now. But I appreciate Sav. Any last words? Nah, just thank you. Um, great fight. <laughs> yes, we have Global Fight Talk gear. If y'all haven't supported us, go, go check out our gear. We got hoodies. Hey, it's almost hoodie season. And I know you, Shauna, you got some uh, clothes that you, you selling yeah. too. Check out. Man, y'all need to do, just do, do some pair up uh, Danger Dobson shirt with a Global Fight Talk hoodie. Stop playing. Y'all get hey. into it. Hey, there let's do go. it. Let's do it. There you go. We all heard it first. That's the look of the season. <laughs> yeah. We finna connect these right now. We finna connect Here these. Here we go. These. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway. I'm done with y'all. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right. We out. Thank you, Sean. All right. All right. Bye. All right. Love you guys. All right. Bye. Love you too. Bye.